I'm Susan Posner from Susan's at airbrush.net and the first thing we're going to learn today is how to airbrush. Okay, you'll need the following materials to start your airbrushing with. You need scissors, an exacto knife, a pencil, and of course your airbrush, your airbrush paints, your format, and some frisket film, which is just a plain uh, sticky back paper, very low tack, and you can get it at any sign painter shop. And after you've got that, pick out what you want to airbrush and you're ready to go. The first thing you need to do so you can start airbrushing is prepare your paints. And that's going to depend on the color. Some colors take 90% uh, reduced dim, others take 50%. So you're going to have to kind of experiment on your different colors, whether they have pearls, metallics in them, they need to be reduced more than just basic colors with nothing added to it. I've already started with the paint in these bottles and this one has metallics and pearls in it so I want to reduce it. It's about 10% paint. And these little soap bottles make great containers for putting your lacquer thinners in, your waters, anything that you're doing to reduce your paints. And I'm more for acrylic automotive paints and this is a reducer. And I don't want very much of this paint for when I'm going to paint, so I'm using about 30% reducer. Of course, a little popsicle stick, if it helps quite a bit for stirring these small little bottles. You just mix it up. You look at the stick, and it looks about right. It's more watery than it is paint, and that's exactly what I want. Your next step after that is preparing your format of what you want to paint. And I've already started. I'm going to be doing a circle. I've taken a stencil, drawn out a nice circle, so I'm going to cut it out next, peel off the center part, and I'm ready to go and start painting. And I use a trusty X-Acto knife. Now that it's cut, just take the tip of the knife and just gently pull up. Discard that, and I'm ready to do my circle. So I'm ready to start painting. And I'm just making a bubble. So I want to use a blue pearl. Flows nice out of the bottle. Okay, first of all, I'm just making a nice flow with my format. Just to show a little bit of accent to it. Now. I want to highlight a little bit more. You go closer in with the airbrush to get finer lines. You go far away to get a more wider line. So I'm going closer now. That gives me a little bit of highlight. So my bubble is finished. And we're ready to peel off. And there's my bubble or my circle. Thank you for watching.